welcome back. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I did my makeup and my hair. I'm actually going right after this to go take my driver's license photo and test. So fingers crossed that I pass because I'm really nervous. I've been studying for the past few days, to be honest, for the past few days, and I think I got it down. So hopefully... I pass. <laughs> but anyways, I wanted to show you how I did my makeup because I did something really subtle and easy and I feel like once you get it down to your routine, you'll be able to do it under 10 minutes because honestly, this is so easy and so fast to do. And I also show you how I flat iron my hair because I've been getting a lot of questions on what I use and how I do my hair. So I figured I will include it in this video. I hope you guys enjoy it and found some new products that you might like. So if you want to see how I got this look, then just keep watching. So to get started, I'm going to begin with my eyebrows. For my brows today, I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in dark brown. This is one of my favorite pencils. I have two favorites, but this is definitely number one. <laughs> I love this because it draws in a really natural brow. You can take your time. If you have a lot of empty gaps in your brows like I do, this just fills it in really natural and makes it look like your brows but better. So I basically like to start off by outlining the bottom of my brows just to make sure that I have an even line. And then I'll go in and fill in the front of my brows and then basically I'll work around that. So that's my routine and I feel like that's what works for me. And and then I leave the arch towards the end just because I like to make sure that the front of my brows and um, basically everything else is even and I know it looks a little bit harsh right now but the reason I like to make it look a little bit harsh in the beginning is because when I apply my foundation it kind of fades it throughout the corners and basically the rest of the brow so don't worry if it looks a little bit harsh in the beginning after you apply your foundation and all that good stuff. It'll look a little bit more natural and not as intense. So once I'm done filling them in, I'm just going to brush them out with the spoolie just to make sure that I don't have any extra product there. And then to set my brows today, I'm using my Benefit Gimme Brow Volumizing Fiber Gel. I really like this because it has a little bit of a tint to it, but it also plumps up your brows and it makes it look a little bit more full. So I really like this product. I've been using it for over over a year I want to say now and now I'm gonna move on to my face I'm going to go in with the Tatcha the water cream and I've been using this for a little over two weeks OMG this product is amazing honestly like it feels so silky so luxurious and once you put it on your face it kind of just melts into your skin and creates this really nice soft layer on your skin where you honestly don't even need to apply anything else like if you have amazing skin just apply this and a little bit of SPF and you're good to go this product is amazing and it's great for uneven texture skin as well so okay I'm, I'm rambling now <laughs> I went ahead and primed my face using my cover effects anti acne mattifying primer and for foundation today I'm using the Dior skin forever perfect foundation my shade is 021 I've been using this for I want to say a week and a half and I am obsessed with this foundation not only does it cover amazing on the skin but it has this really beautiful luminous matte finish I know luminous and matte don't typically go together but this foundation just makes you glow from within it makes you glow in the right places and you still have that really nice sort of like matte finish I don't want to say it's fully matte because it's definitely not fully matte um, but I just really love it and I have oily skin and I've used this foundation without a primer just with the Tatcha cream and oh my god it's lasted a really long time so I am obsessed with this foundation it's definitely a new favorite and I mentioned it on Instagram stories it photographs amazing as well like I was using it with no filter and it looked really great so I highly 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 recommend this foundation for concealer today I'm using a goodie but an oldie it's my Mac pro long wear concealer in NC 25 and the reason I'm going with this concealer is because this is um, one of the most full coverage concealer that I have ever used and it just covers beautifully not only that but it highlights my under eyes at the same time it covers my under eye circles and I'm taking my DMV picture so I don't want to have like a really bright under eye and I feel like this is my perfect shade now to contour my face I'm using my benefit hula cream to powder contour stick I've been using this for a while and I used it in my live stream I didn't like it when I had tan skin because it wasn't as dark as I was hoping for it to be but but now that my tan has faded this color is perfect for my skin and this 
contour stick just blends like a dream honestly look at that it kind of just melts into your skin and it's so easy to work with you can definitely take your time when blending this into your skin because it's not gonna dry up quickly I also really like that it looks very natural on the skin but if you want to do like an intense contour just take your contouring powder and apply it on top of this and it'll just bam and make it pop even more now for highlight today I'm using my benefit whatsapp cream to powder highlight and I really like it for a really nice subtle natural everyday glow it's not super intense I mean I'm taking my picture for my DMV I well, you know I don't mind having a highlight on Felique but honestly this is my sort of like natural look so I don't want anything super intense so I'm just going to apply this on the highest points of my cheekbones down the bridge of my nose and a little bit on my cupid's bow then I'm going to go in and apply my setting powder because I do not want to look oily in my picture. So I'm just taking, ooh, <laughs> I'm just taking my Sigma, what is wrong with me? I'm taking my Sigma sponge and I'm just going to apply this under my eyes, a little bit under my contour and just a tiny bit on my forehead. It's really important that you use a powder that does not give you flashbacks, especially if you're taking your DMV picture or your license or your passport, whatever it is. You want to make sure you don't come out looking like a ghost in your picture. So this powder does not give me a flashback. Now to add a little bit of color to my skin and just to set my contour, I'm going to use my Too Faced Matte Bronzer and this is an oldie but a goodie. I love this. I'm using my Sigma contour brush, which is amazing just to distribute the product evenly throughout your face. Now I'm just going to take a small brush and I'm just going to remove any excess powder. I leave my powder on, I want to say for like 30, 45 seconds, and then I remove it with a brush. Make sure you don't leave it on for too long because it kind of just messes up your concealer or your foundation if you leave it on for too long. So once I'm done with that, I'm going to move on to my eyes and I'm only doing two things to my eyes. I'm going to apply a little bit of eyeshadow. I tried applying it with my fingertips, but my nails are way too long, so I had to use a brush. So I'm just going to take this really beautiful metallic. It's not very really intense. It just adds a really nice glow to my eyes. It's a golden shade from the Modern Renaissance palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And then I'm going to take my Maybelline mascara and apply a few coats to my lashes. This is my favorite mascara at the moment honestly it makes my lashes look so long and full not only that but it stays throughout the entire day it doesn't flake and i really like how dark it is on my um, lashes i was gonna say my brows <laughs> Now on my cheeks, I want something really subtle and sort of like a natural flush on my cheeks. So I'm taking my Charlotte Tilbury blush and I'm just going to apply this on the apples of my cheeks away from my face. This is such a beautiful natural blush and I just absolutely adore it. It's one of my favorites. Then I'm going to move on and apply a little bit more of that highlight on the highest points of my cheekbones. Just because with the translucent powder, I feel like it kind of made it go away a little bit. And then finally on my lips. I'm just going to apply this Rainforest of the Sea lipstick by Tarte Cosmetics and I was gonna go with something a little bit more natural but then I was like um, I kind of want a little bit of a pop of color on my lips and I love the formula of this lipstick it's so creamy so hydrating and it stays on for a really long time okay moving on to my hair I'm just going to literally flat iron it a lot of you guys have been asking to see how I flat iron my hair what I like to do is I like to start from the bottom to the top I have this little brush that I got from Bellamy I don't know if it's actually it's like a comb brush but it's so cool because you can use it while you flat iron your hair so it makes it a lot easier so what I like to do is I like to just brush out my hair and then I'll go in and flat iron my hair this flat iron I believe is from a set from Bellamy I will link it in the description box below I don't remember the set but I got it as a gift from Bellamy and I really like it and I do use a heat protector the one that I use is by Kerastase
So once I'm done with my entire head, I'll just take that comb and just make sure that I don't have any knots around my head. And that is pretty much it. That is my hair routine when I'm flat ironing my hair. And then I'll just take the flat iron and just curve in the front just so it can look like I don't know a little bit more full and I like it that way so that's pretty much it I hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and if you want to find out if I pass my test just check my vlogging channel <laughs> thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time bye